earth needs an attorney, but it's okay because we have the yoga berries who are wolf advocates. Yoga berries educate all people on how well-mannered and loving a wolf dog can be. What do you love about wolves, Ruby? Because they're soft and they're nice. They're nice? Yeah, he treats you like a member of his pack, doesn't he? Yeah. <laughs> and Miss Sydney, what do you love about wolves? Well, they're, they have a really good howl. Mm -hmm. And also, they're brave. They run really fast. Mm -hmm. And they're very cute. Yes, they are. Yes. <laughs> what do you love about wolves? They're brave and they're fast and they protect the, their family. Wolves are family oriented. There's never an orphan in the wild. If the mother gets killed on a hunt, there's a wet nurse, that's the beta. One of the betas or maybe the omega female. She'll make milk to keep the babies alive. At 13 days old, the babies eat meat, but they still need that milk. Wolves don't go after man. Man goes after them. There's one part in Yellowstone where this bear hangs out with a pack of wolves, and he's kind of like waiting to get dinner. He brings back fish or something for the wolves, and that's in Yellowstone. It's an old man that's telling the story. Wow. I'm Chiricahua Mescalero Apache from New Mexico. My grandfather took me and raised me. When I was three years old, I was in the pack. And I was always in the pack. They introduced me, the puppies and I grew up together. And so they uh, would protect me. If I got in trouble by Papa, I'd run in there and get in the den and they'd kind of circle around me where he couldn't see me. So I was raised by my grandfather and the wolves. And so how can people donate to the Wolf Mountain Sanctuary? What, what all can they do right now? Well, we need a lot of things. Go to my website, wolfmountainsanctuary.net. Uh, call to come up and see the wolves. You get to interact with them, go inside. Uh, the phone number is 760-248-7818. We're open Thursday through Sunday. My wolves eat roast, chicken, vegetables. Um, they get herbs. They can smell in the wild 40 to 60 miles. Wow. And how yeah. many miles can they run in a day? What's that, about 60, 100? And so when they had the wolves, totally extinct in the wild of Yellowstone. The elk, the buffalo, the moose, all the caribou destroyed the land where the trees died, the, water, the streams and the lakes were gone, the grass was gone. Birds left, the beaver left. A lot of the little foxes that were there were gone they reunited the wolves back in Yellowstone, relocated them back in Yellowstone, and the streams started flowing. The green grass came back. The beaver came back. Trees that all over populated came back. Old trees that haven't been there for years. Birds that they've never seen there. Little foxes. It all regenerated Yellowstone. They do a trot. It's beautiful how they dance. I love when they run. And we're also going to be rescuing the wild horses. People can come and get a cabin and go to school to learn to work with wolves, get a certificate, veterinarian school. They can go there. We're going to have the best teachers. That is fantastic. Thank you. Well, thank you so much for bringing Journey here today. <laughs> thank you. All across the world, from Europe to Yellowstone National Park in Wyoming, wherever we have allowed the presence of large predators, healthier ecosystems are a result. Wolves bring the ecosystem to a healthy balance by reviving vegetation and streams, which in turn gives life to other species. What are the three R's? Reduce, reuse, and recycle. 
Yoga Berry yoga pants are recyclable. You could even pass them down to your younger sister. Lizards, wolves, and snakes, oh my! Come and join the Yoga Berries on a desert yoga adventure coming soon. Yoga Berries!